men. Oh, you want go, little men? I do. One sec. By the power of jujitsu. Don't pull guard on the street. Us. <laughs> All right. Jiu-jitsu guys, you guys love it. I'm a jiu-jitsu guy, jiu-jitsu black belt, right? I love jiu-jitsu, but like, don't do jiu-jitsu on the street. Obviously, you guys see what happened to Eric. So, let's say though that Eric did fall to the ground. His jiu-jitsu class has taught him how to do proper break falls. That wasn't one, but who cares, okay? So now, let's learn some techniques that can actually help take me down, okay? This is actually built into not just my jiu-jitsu program, but also into my gong fu program, okay? And basically the idea is I'm standing, he's laying down on the ground. He wants to stand up. So at the base level, he plants his foot, he plants his hand, he does a wing cover, he kicks me away, he stands up before I can throw punches at him. Fantastic. He goes back down. Notice one thing he did different there than a lot of jiu-jitsu schools. If you just do the other side, please switch feet. Good. Right? Is It's this wing cover. Okay. And the reason why, normally in jiu-jitsu schools, they have the hand out like this. So he kicks me, boom, he stands up, I grab the hand, boom, I smash him. Okay. That's the only thing I change. When he's down on the ground, he's, he's covering. So he plants, plants, he kicks, boom. See, now there's nothing for me to grab. If I smash him and try and hit him here, he's returning fire. He's back on his feet. That's your goal. Good jujitsu training should get you or teach you how to get from the ground back to your feet. But I'm bigger, he's on the ground. This is why jujitsu is fantastic and I love it. Okay? A good fighter will come in and maybe they'll just lay some kicks into you. But if I'm using a long range weapon like my kicks, he's gonna be able to stand up. So if I have jits training and he has jits training, I'm gonna try to move in. If I can just grab the legs and chuck him bullfighter pass, he's going to get beaten. If I'm way bigger, I'm going to grab the legs and really throw him. Okay, so by simply just moving your legs, it's very hard for me to grab the legs. So it's a little easier. Because that becomes busy and because he's trying to kick me in the face, people try and move in close. Okay, so notice what I did. Good job on Eric's part. Let's slow it down so people can learn. I'll switch views for you guys. I put my foot close to him so that the legs couldn't kick me. His hand overhooked the leg. Don't use your thumbs, okay? Just hook the back. So we switch sides just for the camera again. So he's hooked. Immediately, you've seen his other leg hook the back of my leg. You want to be trying to move me with this, but still stay connected as tight as you can. So now it's hard for me to move around. But notice I still have balance. This is where the third piece comes in. His leg comes up, and what he's trying to do is with his hand, he's trying to pull it back. With his leg, he's trying to push. He's going to go slow. So he pushes. Look, now my leg is extended and straight. And I am way taller than Eric. And I'm all legs, guys. Like, I'm barely holding on. Once this leg goes straight, there's hard for me to do anything here but basically fall over. So as he pushes and pulls, go ahead. Perfect. Now I'm down to the ground. Freeze. Go back down. So now we're here. We're both on the ground, right? Who's going to get up first? Because he's pulling me to the ground, he can go to stand up. So now, no, no wing cover because I'm not standing anymore. He's going to put his hand out in case I try and kick him. He goes to stand up. I go to stand up. Well, at least now he has a chance to use his hand fighting skills. But we don't want to be pulling guard. He's back down. So you're here. Say you don't really know a lot about jujitsu or they're just like super freaking strong where they just grab both the legs and compare it to chucking you. You pull your legs in. That makes them kind of step closer. Once I do that, see, again, his training kicked in. Both of his arms come in. Once I let go and I start throwing punches, he opens his legs up. I fall down. I'm just kicking like a madman. And he's taking out the cameraman, right? And he's up. But look at that. He got up. So somebody that outweighs him by 100 pounds he was able to take down because he didn't use, well, they always say use technique and not size. I agree with that completely. But this is why that works because there's certain techniques that set it. What he's doing here on the single leg is he's attacking one leg. That's what's making me fall. This is just holding on to me so I can't rebalance. If he didn't have that leg, go ahead and push that one. Look, I rebalance. 
But if he hooks that and he goes, ah, right? it's really hard. So that's why he's got to yank on the arm, kick on the leg, go ahead, boom. Now I'm down. Now it's rather not, he's safe. <laughs> At least we're now going to see what he's made of. Don't pull guard on the street, guys. Come on, stay safe. How long? 